Okay, in this video, we are going to look at how to do marketing analytics with R. Uh, most specifically, we're going to focus on uh, stepwise modeling using ANOVA uh, model fitting. This is part of machine learning. Uh, so let's move on to the key properties related to the stepwise modeling. Uh, building models iteratively by adding or removing variables can be automated. The only way that you can automate is by introducing the in, introducing the function a uh, step function. This performs stepwise model selection by testing models one at a time while changing variables in the models to see whether the change improves the model. What actually we do generally is we add one by one in terms of uh, number of variables uh, to build uh, certain models and we test their performances. Uh, now with this stepwise modeling, actually what happens here is, you know, you're automating uh, the process that I explained earlier. Uh, there are two directions that you can use uh, as uh, one of the arguments in the entire code uh, first one is the backward and the uh, second one is the forward. Now, if you look at the uh, uh, backward one, uh, it starts with the larger set of variables and progressively cutting them one by one. Uh, we use this technique uh, on the full model. You design, you fit the full model and then you use the uh, backward uh, 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 direction to uh, test one by one and delete uh, uh, one by one according to the model performances. The forward direction, or we call that forward method, is uh, you start with one uh, uh, response variable and one uh, predictor variable. And then uh, based on the data set, you keep on adding one after the other, uh, testing the model performance uh, one at a time. Now, what helps us to understand or determine uh, which model is the best model? We use the AIC, we call it AK in, uh, information criteria, to compare the models based on overall fit uh, uh, balance with model complexity. So the model complexity and overall fit are the two things that uh, AIC uh, factorize. Uh, in order to uh, give you a certain score. Uh, the lower the score of AIC, actually a uh, better the model. In other words, the lowest AIC corresponds to the best model. So let's dive right into R and see what we, how we are going to use this, you know, stepwise ANOVA model uh, to uh, check the best model. Okay, uh, so I'm going to import the data set from this external uh, source. Uh, this is a CSV file, so I'm going to use the read CSV file and save it as custom segment uh, as the data set name for that. So I uh, call the data set or rather imported the data set. Uh, I am not going to do, uh, in order to save the time, I'm not going to do the uh, basic uh, inspection on the data set. However, I'm going to call this data set customer segment. I'm, the, I'm going to call this data set. This is the data set, right? In this data set, you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variables. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, let's see how uh, the income as a response variable uh, a response variable uh, is influenced by all the predictor variables age gender number of kids uh, home ownership subscription and segment how each of these and all together influence the uh, determine the income uh, factor so let's uh, build the uh, first uh, complete model using uh, AOV. AOV is used to fit the model. Uh, so we are going to fit the model, the entire model. So we're going to say uh, income 
as the uh, as the uh, uh, response variable so we're going to use the tilde afterwards uh, following that we are going to uh, we are going to uh, introduce one variable at a time if you're doing manually to test the model performances now using the stepwise model we are going to automate that one how you do the automation is uh, by saying uh, uh, tilde dot comma what do you do with this you know what, what what i'm trying to tell here is you know after the income uh, you have the tilde and then followed by the tilde is followed by the uh, 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 full stop sign or we call it period sign or dot uh, in in very lemon language what i meant by that is uh, we are saying hey uh, r give me all the variables other than income onto the right side of the equation that's what it says so give me all the vari variables that's what we say and we separate that argument with the comma and then we are going to uh, uh, specify the data set. So data equals customer segment. So now we need to uh, uh, use the step function on this. This is the model and we need to use the step function in order to perform the model. So we, I'm going to say step. Uh, add parenthesis now we have the entire model fitted and we are going to run the stepwise uh, approach uh, to see uh, to investigate what is the best model based on the lowest AIC value now if one thing that you can do is by default this runs as uh, as, as a, a backward method uh, but if you want to add another argument saying direction uh, direction equals to uh, forward it will give you the forward uh, 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 method it will use the forward method but this time I am not going to use the direction I'm not going to specify the direction I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm going to run this one you can see in in a uh, few minutes not even minutes few few seconds the entire uh, data set is used to create develop uh, different models and then test the test the performance level of that using the uh, AIC uh, score so this is the uh, model that we uh, use now income with all the in the other variables as independent variables or predictive variables using this data set so the first model includes income age gender kids home entire thing so this is the backward selection you see you start with the entire uh, uh, model uh, using all the variables so we have all the variables here all seven one two three four five six and seven Look at the ACA number that we got. We we yielded uh, an AIC, AIC number 5,779, some decimal numbers. Uh, and this tells, this is the first model, and it tells that, you know, if you remove the age, it will come down to 5,770, so on and so forth. The second model uh, comes with a lower uh, AIC compared to the first one. This is the first one. Look at the second one. 5777 uh, 19. Uh, this is 5779. This is 5777. Now this has only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. One is deleted or removed. Likewise, if you go uh, to the bottom of the uh, outcome of the uh, of the model uh, selection stepwise selection you will see that the last one is presented with uh, the very lowest aic value which is 
5772 compared to the first one 5779 we have the lowest AIC value when I say AIC value actually it it uh, it it uh, factorizes the overall uh, fit balance with the model complexity so the lowest one is AIC uh, 5772 and it includes only income as the response variable and segment as the predictor variable so that's the only model that has the best performances so based on this um, AIC we pick this to be the best model out of all the models that we can test uh, carving out from from the uh, from the main uh, model that we fit here. So I hope uh, this is uh, helpful. Uh, I also would like to share with you one uh, additional thing here. If you want to see, uh, I mean, if you want to use the stepwise method to inspect the best model and at the same time the interaction effects, what you can do is you can introduce uh, a, a, a square method uh, for the for the model so in other words I am going to uh, copy and paste the same model uh, with an introduction to squaring uh, right after the dot so I'm gonna say hat to and if you run this one this will give you not only the best model but also the interaction effects for each and every model uh, you know runs uh, uh, the model fit runs okay now you can see uh, let's take a look at the first one uh, this this gives us this is the model that we uh, first use and this gives us uh, not only the AIC AIC number for each uh, you can see the interaction is also used here. You can see the colon sign. That means when the age and the segment interacts, what is the AIC number? And when the kids and the segment interact, what is the AIC value? So uh, it not only provides you the best model, which is the last one that we have with the lowest AIC. Uh, in this case, the best model with when the interaction is also considered is uh, with this AIC 5765 and this is the best model this is the best model when the interaction is also uh, investigated or called for hope this helps uh, you to understand how you use the stepwise uh, uh, modeling uh, uh, back using a backward or forward uh, selection methods uh, for you to pick the best model. Uh, this is really helpful for those who are building so many models uh, to conceptualize the best approach one could take. Now, why this is important for marketing uh, people or my people who are in the marketing or the managers or the professionals, because this will help you to determine what should be the best model if you are planning to model a, a, a promotional campaign. What should be the uh, uh, what should be the uh, advertising? What should be the sales promotion? What should be the uh, personal relationship? So on and so forth, one by one. Uh, rather than uh, adding one by one and taking time, you can automate that by using the stepwise uh, approach. Hope this is helpful to you. Uh, uh, I will uh, come back to you with another new video. Uh, uh, for marketing analytics using R.